And now, to kick off Skift Megatrends, please welcome Skift founder and CEO, Rafat Ali. I'm supposed to be here? Okay. So if you find it odd why I'm here, it's because the video is here and I'm talking also to the online um, people who are online as well. So um, welcome, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 Megatrends, Skift Megatrends. This is our biggest annual franchise that we do. Uh, this is, and I'm not even joking, this is tens of thousands of hours of work by our editorial team, by our research team, by Airline Weekly, by Daily Lodging Report. These are all the Skift brands, Skift meetings that they talk to you, people in the industry, people who are here, people who are watching online. We do the reporting that you see, you see the research that we do online um, um, on our site as well. And this is, Megatrends is essentially connecting the dots across all this uh, work that we've done over the years. And this happens to be, 2023 happens to be 10 years of us doing this. So we started as a company in 2012. This is August 2012. Our first, um, we used to do 13 megatrends in 2013, 14 megatrends in 2014, and then it became too much, 15 megatrends in 20. And then we just said, we're going to call it megatrends. It used to be called trends, and we changed its name to megatrends. With an idea that we'll come up with 10 to 12 megatrends that are happening in travel, these are not predictions. So we don't do predictions. This is not glamping is going to be big this year. That's not what we cover. And I think you know Skift well enough to know that we're not going to do that. Uh, this is forecasts based on reporting on the industry through our editorial team, research team, et cetera. And um, it, it used to come with a print magazine. I'm sure some of you still have the Megatrends print magazine, those of you who've, who uh, have read or been at Skift events before. We used to have a beautiful print magazine. But um, because of COVID, as well as uh, just being more responsible, we don't print the, the physical magazine anymore. Um, so in fact, the Skiff Megatrends is, is live, I think, as of this second online um, on Skiff. These are 2022 Megatrends. And over the next two hours, you'll see, um, you'll see a flavor of it on stage from our team, as well as we will do some interviews on stage from people in the industry and their reactions to what they're seeing in um, travel this year. And so let's get started. Um, so the, the, the mega, these are the sort of three words that we're going to latch onto uh, today. And this is travel is being redistributed. There's a lot of blended um, things happening in the travel industry. All of you um, know this very well. And then in a polarized world, what's happening to travel? So these are sort of the three big words that we're going to latch onto that we're going to try and unpack through over the next two hours. And then, of course, our megatrends speak to that. Um, so many of these things are colliding together that I really, really, really believe that 2023 is, is, is if it wants to be, if the industry, if all of you want to be, is potentially the most creative year to come and travel. And here's sort of my reasons why I'm so excited about 2023 as a reason. One, the pent-up demand phase arguably is over, meaning the crazy peaks and valleys that we saw over the last two years is over. So now if you have to attract travelers, airlines, hotels, destinations, tour operators, et cetera, et cetera, um, you can't just be uh, hoping on, let's open it, people will buy it at whatever price. There's obviously the recession happening, there are arguments back and forth on how deep that recession will be. But the good news is you have to be a lot more creative to attract travelers. I think one of the biggest things, I think we underestimate what's happening with the future of work. All of our lives, at least the, 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 the people who have money to spend in travel, all of our lives have completely been upended by what's happening with the future of work. Remote work, hybrid work, et cetera, et cetera. And what that means to the future of travel. The reality is we can only travel in between work, holidays, et cetera, et cetera. So however the future of work turns out to be is the fate of the travel industry. That's 100% true. This is true for business travel. This is also true for leisure travel, which means that there's a lot new ways to slice and dice the travel industry in the coming years. So 2023, hopefully, 
we'll see, we'll see a lot more new products and innovations coming from the travel industry that speaks to this. Uh, we, we talk a lot about what we call the great merging between our lives, our, if our, if our um, social uh, work, travel, lives have merged together, what does that mean for the business of travel? So we, we talked a lot about it as SCIFT over 2022, and this will continue to play out over 2023 as well. The other thing that is fascinating, and that's not just a 2023 trend that I'm excited about, but the long-term trend on how the global traveler flows are changing. China is just opening up January 8th. Was it yesterday or was it Sunday? Sunday just uh, started. It'll, it'll take a while. Um, we will have a bunch of... Uh, um, slides later about how potentially India is, is to become the largest outbound market in the world very soon. You'll see all these, all these things that we're going to talk about. So the global travel flows have changed potentially permanently and will continue to change over the next few years, which is why I think uh, the, the shape of travelers that we're used to for the last 10 years pre-pandemic is changing. That's why I think it's just such an exciting time. And then some of the big investments in travel are happening. If you look at what's happening in Saudi Arabia, if you look at what's ha what happened in Qatar, if you look at what's happening in Dubai, so Middle East is going through a renaissance. A lot of the airport infrastructure potentially is improving in US, at least there's plans to. So there's a lot of new infrastructure coming in, in travel around the world, which means that, again, new opportunities for the, the travel industry. And this, if you're anywhere near tech, you probably have heard million times, Jared, uh, on this generative AI. This is, uh, we talk about a lot about it, I think like five times every day on LinkedIn these days. Uh, how many of you have um, played with this um, chat GPT tool? So many of you have played. And, uh, and you've seen uh, the early potential of AI in, in, um, with this. And we think it's this year is going to just be an explosion and this is not just us in travel, this is happening all around in the tech world. And this has a lot of potential to change so many things in the travel industry. If you've read Skiff closely over the last month, you've probably seen us do a bunch of stories around what is the early potential for generative AI, which is a subset of AI, that this um, chat GPT is a tool. If you haven't, it's going to be too long for me to explain what it is, so just Google it. Um, or I guess we shouldn't say that because Google is the one that they're going to compete against long term. But still, Google it, uh, and you can uh, you can find out about it. Um, so these are some of the reasons why I'm personally excited, and I think this could be the the next creative renaissance in travel, starting with this year. So you will hear versions of this on stage as well as if you read um, the Skiff Megatrends, you'll you'll see that. Uh, so this is the agenda. Wow, this is too uh, small for you to read, but. Uh, we'll have a bunch of interviews. Our um, Next, we'll have a research presentation. We have interviews with people in the industry. Uh, we'll have some more presentations from the SCIF team and other speakers from the industry as well. And, uh, and that's it. So this is a very packed program over the next uh, two hours. There's no break. So if you, if you need to go to restrooms and stuff, you can go now or, or, or hold. Um, TMI. Um, so the... Skiff talk, so Skiff Megatrends has launched. If you uh, scan this QR code, you should be able to go to it, but it will be on the top of your newsletter tomorrow morning as well. This, this, this you probably know. This should be live. Um, Jason, I'm sure you're watching. Just make sure it's live now so, uh, so people, people can download uh, if they go. Uh, and then I want to thank our sponsors. Obviously, we cannot do this without all the sponsors. Accor and Abu Dhabi and have been our sponsors for, for many, many years now. Um, I think they've been multi-year, five-year sponsors for our for our mega trends and Allianz partners. I want to thank them for that. Arda, which is our first-time sponsor, Jason, who's here somewhere. Jason, where are you? Jason is 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 uh, hiding behind the American Resort Developers Association. Their um, first-time sponsor. So please go say hi to them so that they continue after this. Uh, get some good results, but they're doing some great work. Um, Flyer, which has also been a long-time sponsor, Crowdrift, which we love, and Localhood is one of their products. You're going to hear uh, them talk about uh, why vertical video is the future of travel marketing, and then Travel Bank, which is here, which was acquired by US Bank last year, but they're here as well, and they're doing a lot of great things. So thank you to all the sponsors. Um, I think for those of you who don't know, just as a quick overview of where we are as a company, this is our 11th year in existence. And um, I think you know us from Skift, Skift Pro, which is our 
subscription daily news, if research you know. Uh, some of you may not know that we bought these three different companies that are there in the middle, Airline Weekly, Daily Lodging Report, what used to be called Event MB that we rebranded as Skiff Meetings. Skiff Meetings is our brand that focuses uh, at the meetings industry. And then obviously Skiff Live, our creative studio. And then we recently launched a consulting business called Skiff Advisory, which if you want to talk about it, talk to us. Um, if you want to save on our subscriptions, this is probably the most um, discount that we'll give in general. And so 25%, if you want to scan, uh, you can scan here. Uh, coming in end of March in London, our Future of Lodging Forum. So we did our first Future of Lodging Forum here in New York last year, and which was a big success, and we're taking it to London. And so that's coming March 29th in London. So if any of you or your colleagues want to attend in London, uh, you can go to live.skift.com, and we'll love to see you there. This is a full-day event that's going to talk about primarily hospitality, but also short-term rentals and, and uh, innovations around that. And uh, besides travel industry, we're also launching today uh, our meetings industry trends that are also launching at meetings.skift.com. If you scan this, you'll be able to see our trends that we're watching in 2023 in the meetings and events world. So uh, that's also launching today. We do uh, have time for Q&A for some of these um, sessions that we'll have. So if you, um, some of you may have the Slido app just because they um, are used a lot across the industry. But if you scan this, you can quickly, I think, go to the website. They will take you to the website, not the app itself, right? Um, so it just, it's just a website, and then you can, you can put your questions there, and we're going to try and um, get them answered with the speakers that are here. Really, that's it. Let's get started.